Praise the Lord, everyone. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and welcome to Megabytes. Today's lesson comes to us from Jeremiah 29 and 11. This passage is becoming one of my favorite scriptures, and it says, I know the thoughts that I think concerning you, thoughts of good and not of evil, thoughts to give you an expected end. God wants to give you an expected end. Here in the book of Jeremiah, we find Judah going through a time of judgment where they have forsaken God and the Lord has allowed judgment to come from Babylon. The Babylonians enslaved God's people for a little bit more than 70 years. But after the 70 years, they returned and began to rebuild the temple. Well, this prophecy comes to Jeremiah in the midst of the judgment, in the midst of that bad times and the hard times. And yet God gives them a word. And that word was, even though you're going through judgment, I really know what I have designed for you. I really know what I have in mind for you. And that is to give you exactly what you expect, to give you an expected end. This word goes to those who are going through storms, who are in a down time now, you're in a valley experience. But I say to you that God is going to give you an expected end. You may even be under a, a time of hardship and financial lack. Relationships are on the rocks. But stay encouraged. Keep your chin up. God is going to give you an expected end. I say to you, according to your faith, so be it unto you. And it is the Lord's desire to prosper you. As a matter of fact, the scripture tells us that God delights in the prosperity of his people. And so if you're going through right now, it is not over. It's not the end of it. Things will get better. David writes that weeping endures for a night, but joy is going to come in the morning. And so be encouraged today. Understand that God wants to give you an expected end. And so let your expectation be real high. Expect good. Expect a miracle. Expect to come out of what you're in. Expect prosperity. Expect to be healthy, wealthy, and wise. As a matter of fact, expect today is going to be the best day of your life. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and this has been your Megabyte.